The weak job market and economic challenges of owning a home are driving demand in the apartment sector. Apartment Investment and Management Company, commonly referred to as AIMCO, is one of the oldest owners and operators of apartments in the United States. Here with me is Terry Considine, Chairman and CEO of AIMCO. Terry, tell us a little bit about AIMCO. Uh, AIMCO is a uh, New York Stock Exchange listed real estate investment trust. Its shares are included in the S&P 500 uh, and it owns uh, uh, multifamily uh, properties across the country. How would you sum up the overall health of the multifamily sector? I, I think there are two markets. The, the operating or occupancy markets uh, are okay, but with uh, slightly declining rents. But occupancies are actually at a pretty high level. The investment market is uh, greatly reduced, and uh, there's not a lot of transactions taking place. How has AIMCO had to adapt its business strategy during this economic recession? Uh, when the, the, the great risk of this recession has been uh, in the capital markets. And we had some uh, recourse debt, uh, which I wanted to uh, prepay before its maturity. And so during this time, we've sold properties and used the proceeds to pay off the debt. How has AIMCO addressed the dislocations in the capital markets? Well, our, our uh, capital structure actually was pretty well suited to this uh, difficult time because we have primarily uh, non-recourse long-term debt. So our weighted average maturity is almost 10 years, and that's mu much longer than uh, most of the uh, real estate investment trusts. So we, we, we've been less affected by the capital markets. Could you elaborate on your strategy of selling non-core assets in this current market? Well, over the last uh, four or five years, uh, when in retrospect we see there was a bubble in asset pricing, uh, we've been a, a very substantial net seller. And in the five years ended, uh, uh, December 31st, 2008, we sold $6.7 billion of real estate and purchased only about one. Uh, this year, we'll sell another billion dollars of uh, properties. And we uh, rank our properties from top to bottom, and we've sold off the bottom. And how do you identify the non-core assets? Well, uh, we, we look for qualitative factors uh, that are partly subjective, such as the sense of uh, the uh, permanence of the location and demand at a location, and some of which are quantitative such as uh, rent levels and the average income of the customers who, who choose to live there. Considering how this year started, 2009 is likely to end on a high note. What is your outlook for 2010? Well, I, I, I would be quite cautious. Uh, I think the economy is uh, not in panic the way it was earlier this year, but it's not clear to me that the recovery will be uh, very robust. I think there are great burdens being piled on the economy, whether it's the great increase of uh, government debt increase in taxes and regulation and other uh, schemes that uh, inhibit uh, job creation. So uh, I would look for, for a very slow recovery in, in job creation, and I would be alert to the uh, possibility of a significant increase in inflation. And what about your outlook for AIMCO in the multifamily sector? Well, I, th I think in, in uh, our company and for other multifamily REITs, the long-term prospects uh, are, are good in the sense that uh, there's a lot of demand expressed in uh, the baby boom uh, children who are now coming of uh, age to rent apartments. And this new supply has been quite constrained. So the basic supply and demand factors are very favorable. It'll be a question of job creation. Terry, thank you very much. For REIT.com, I'm Matt Bichard.